So this is the um, Honda CRZ nickel metal hydride to lithium conversion. Um, one of the conversion videos. So this is adapting the switchboard for the um, 48 cell LTO uh, pack that I'm going to try. Which is going to be split into two blocks of uh, 24 cells. It gives approximately the same voltage, just slightly bit higher than the standard nickel metal hydride for the CRZ. So you can see what I've done here. This is a switchboard, which you will have seen from the earlier videos. And you'll see now it's got four heavy gauge. These are ultra flexible welding wire, 110 amp continuously rated uh, wires here. And these have been connected uh, onto the four connection points for the battery, which would be on the other side of this. Uh, so these are the connection points that you need to use. So we've got negative, positive, negative, positive. So that's that. So these are very well secured, uh, proper connectors, etc. And uh, that very well connected to the uh, tabs that would normally be in here, which the batteries would bolt to. So we've basically got four long wires, and then these wires will just connect to the four terminals on the two LTO packs in the back of the car. Now we've got a double wire here, two red wires, I'll explain those in a minute. And then we've got the voltage tap wires coming out here. So if we look on the other side, we'll see. So this is the other side of it, and uh, what we've got here is if we've got the four connections here. Now I've insulated these, and, and they're uh, tie-wrapped to the little support posts, uh, and there's a big um, anti-lock, sorry, self-locking nuts and bolts on here to keep these connections really tight because they're very important. They potentially pass in quite a lot of current. And then we have the uh, BCM fooler for the CRZ. Now the CRZ only has seven modules instead of ten modules like the Honda Insight. So this is a Honda Insight BCM fooler, but you can see I've missed out uh, the three middle resistors and put a shorting link in. And interestingly, the wire colour code is the same for the Insight as it is for the CRZ. Some standardization there from Honda. Uh, so this is the negative of this is connected to the negative, the pack negative, which is over here. The positive actually goes through there and out, uh, and that's so that I can join those two positives together. So the positive from here will actually come into here. But if I want to do some voltage fooling, I'll need to add a resistor in. I didn't want to have to take all this off to do that. So that's why I've got those two wires coming out here. So what I can do is I can just put a resistor in that wire, and that will be the sort of pre-resistor for the BCM fooler if I I want to try a higher voltage pack which I may well do <coughs> because that won't involve increasing the current so one of the first tests I might do uh, if it works as is like this is I might just chuck another block in crank up the voltage to 144 150 volts or so and see if the system will accept that with uh, a pre-resistor in here and, uh, and another device uh, in between the IPU and the motor control module so that's where we are at the minute just adapting the uh, switchboard that one's ready now that's done that's all I'm going to do to that for now and that's ready to go back uh, in the car uh, mounting onto the now empty uh, battery case as you can see here and it's just going to go back on there connect it all back up tomorrow and uh, that is uh, today's developments so tomorrow I'm going to be looking at these these are the battery temperature sensors I just need to work out what values they are and then I'm going to uh, fake those on the battery um, module harness uh, so that the car thinks the batteries are a constant 25 degrees centigrade and that will be tomorrow's job and we'll see if we can put it all back together tomorrow.